All right, we picked up a couple of these. Now the investment up front, it'll cost you up front to do it. But uh, however you want to plant it, people do things differently. We use tires, they hold the water. Use some bigger mulch, that seems to help. Keeps the weeds out of it and stuff. But uh, that's a blueberry. Now that's a little bit different than the one beside it here. So they'll come at different times and they'll be different sizes. But uh, yeah, we're really thankful we're able to put another one in. Now folks, I don't have a lot. You know, there's folks out there with billions of dollars. I'm not a billionaire, by no means at all. But I've learned that one thing you do, you know, just one thing matters. These small things matter because you're able to give somebody something. If somebody's down and out and doesn't have anything, it's nice to be able to say, well, here, I've got some blueberries. You can't always supply everything for people. But if everybody did a little bit of something, that's where we would be better off. So we have to learn that even somebody with nothing can do something. We can smile. We can pray for people. But that's the example here at Teach the People. It's not about how much you have. It's that you're trying and that you do what you're able. Now, that's being loving, understanding, and kind to others. So that's how you do it. You just got to try to do what you can because the Bible says to be kind to people. So if you run into somebody throughout your day, maybe you need to hold the door for them. You know, there's all kinds of different things God will put in your, put in your life and put in your, put in your path for you to do. But this is one way we help. And we try to get people in their communities to maybe grow some things. Maybe you know somebody that has, has some land and, and you can put the, you know, the fruit on there or the vegetables on there and they'll let you use the land and somebody else will come help you weed it. You know, if you get together in your communities and see who can do what, what can we do to help the needy, to help the less fortunate? What can we do? You don't have to have a lot to do something. You might not have any land or any money, but you're able to pray. You're able to say, can I come help you weed it? Can I learn from you what you're doing? These are the things we have to learn to do. People are just looking for too many things that they don't really need. We have to put back in our communities. We have to do what the Lord showed us to do. Be fruitful and multiply. And you're all going to have your own ways. We all have our own ways of doing it. Not everybody can be this particular thing or that particular thing. That's why there's differences in the world. But each of us play a vital part. Everybody does in whatever part of the world you're in, whatever situation you're in, you can be a glory and you can glorify God for giving you a way to do something kind for people because you love him. And if you love the Lord, you obey him. And if you love the Lord, you want to be a light in the world. God bless everybody for your help. God bless everybody out there for, you know, being part of this, teach the people because your video, you're watching the videos and you're sharing the videos and, and, and you actually paying attention and understanding and doing in your area is what matters. That's what matters. But remember, talk to the Lord. He loves you very much. You're very important to him. He has so much in store for you. Let him have your life and do what he wants to do. Be the vessel for him. God bless.